Now, have you ever dreamed of traveling the country in a camper van or an RV, but you didn't actually want to buy one? Or maybe you have a motorhome sitting in your driveway, hardly ever used. Well, our travel journalist, Debbie Griffiths, has the solution. Morning, Debbie. Good morning. So there's a company that hooks up camper van owners with the travellers. Yeah, so it's called My Way. So think of it as kind of the Airbnb of RVs. So it's a really innovative sharing platform. And it does protect both the owners and the travellers, but it also provides a really personalised service. Um, so you go onto the myway.com website, click on New Zealand, and then you select where you'd like to pick up from, the type of vehicle, the dates, and even the type of transmission that you prefer. So you can choose the vehicle that you'd like to take on your travels, and then you just book Book it. So MyWay.com connects you with the owners and because the vehicles are privately owned there's a really great variety of campers on the platform. You've got the ultimate surf wagon to retro campers, pop-up roof wagons and top of the line camper vans which is what we got. Um, also because they're privately owned MyWay vehicles are based all around the country so it makes it a really easy way to just grab a camper that's closest to you and explore our beautiful country. So once you're in contact with the owners what's the collection like? Well MyWay's greatest point of difference is that the company really encourages a strong sense of community and belonging. It's that real Kiwi approach to hospitality. So it makes the experience much more personal and memorable I think as well. So we were greeted by, really warmly by Val and Ken and we were actually offered a coffee. Now that's not unusual for My Way owners to do that and they spent loads of time with us just showing us around their gorgeous camper van. Plenty of bells and whistles on this one, as you can see that Ken was showing us. The dining area expanded out, the over cabin sleeping area was great, and, it's got, and they told us practical stuff like making sure the fridge was locked and the windows were closed before setting off. So it made me feel really confident when I got behind the wheel because this was my first time driving a camper van. So I was a little bit nervous about it. It's a big vehicle, but it was really easy to steer. I thought it was going to be really heavy, but it wasn't. So we actually drove to Whangamata on Coromandel, and we stayed at the motor camp there, which is really close. And you see how much fun we're having. We just had the best time driving all that way. Our country is gorgeous. So, is. you know, going in a camper van, you really make the most of, of this gorgeous country. So where we stayed in Whangamata, it was really close to both the beach and the shops, beautifully maintained with great facilities. So a really great place to set up camp there. So then what did you actually do in Whangamata? Well, I mean, Whangamata is one of the best beaches in the country for beginner surfers like us. So we booked a surf lesson with Whangamata Surf School. So we went out with Joe and Jack and they are fantastic teachers. They spent time with us on the beach, just going over technique, how to pop up on the board before heading out into the water. So you can see that this is really perfect waves. The waves are teeny tiny, so they're perfect for rookies like us. And both the kids did eventually get up on the board. We had a really great time. So Whangamata Surf School offers individual or group lessons and its instructors are local and they are Surfing NZ qualified. And they also have backgrounds in uh, education and high performance and sport. So you can really trust that they have the best local knowledge and you will have a really cool experience. Woohoo! Got up on the board. A really cool experience. We had a great time there on the beach. Oh, even dabbing while surfing. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> so I'm waiting to see Debbie up on the board. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see that, I'm afraid. I wasn't as good as the kids. So what else did you get up to then? Well, we wanted to explore the town more, so we headed to Pedal and Paddle on the main street. So they are a one-stop shop for anything to do with bikes, sups and kayaks. So we grabbed a bike for my boy and daughter was and I was on a tandem, which was actually a really lot of fun. So there are some really great trails at Whangamata Ridges Mountain Bike Park, um, but we were just really happy on the wide flat streets. You can see how wide it is there. Whangamata is just such a lovely quiet place. And so flat too. It is so flat and we did end up at the skate park. Um, so we had a bit of fun going up and down the ramps there. Um, the, they also have the iconic frog bikes and they have e-bikes and they even hire out Vespers there as well. I must say I'm very impressed that you actually could cycle and hold the camera at the same time. Oh, right. Skills. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so what about places to eat in Whangamata? Oh, I love Smash Pippi. I had a salad with scallops, prawns and calamari. It was absolutely amazing. And their seafood chowder, highly recommended as well. And uh, go to Mizzoni for really great pizza. It's nice and close to the beach. So it sounds like my way made the whole thing really easy for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super easy. I mean, we had a really great time. Val and Ken, who hired us the van, are really now firm friends. They're gorgeous. It's it's a much more personal experience and the vehicle was superb. Because they use it for themselves, they know what to do to make the 
journey smoother, like taking out coat hangers out of the closet so they don't rattle. So it's not just a booking engine, it really, my way, helps travellers on the road trip and beyond. Awesome, sounds so cool. Hey Debbie, thank you so much. It's a great thing to start planning actually, summer holidays or even spring breaks in the school holidays because they are just around the corner. Visit myway.com and of course if you have a camper and you want to start making a bit of extra money on those days, it's just sitting in the driveway and there's probably a few of those, then you can list the vehicle there too.